We know that we can use rounding to help us figure out an estimate or about how much. And we can also use it to check our work and help us think, does this answer make sense? Let's take a look at a student's work when they rounded the number 52. What did this student think about and what did they do to round 52? Say your answer out loud. Yes, that's right. They started by thinking which two tens, which landmark numbers is my number in between? How do they determine 50 and 60 as our landmark numbers? Say it out loud. Yes, they know that 52 is in between 50 and 60. And if we count it up from 52, the next multiple of 10 we would say is 60. And if we count it back from 52, the lesser multiple of 10 we would say is 50. Nice work. How do we know that the midpoint is 55? Say your answer out loud. Yes, the midpoint is 55 because if we add five to it, we get to 60. If we take five from it, we get down to 50. So we know it's exactly halfway. Nice. What did the student do next? Yes, they thought, is my number located above or below my midpoint? 52 is less than 55, so it's located right below. So, does 52 round to 50 or 60? And why? Say your answer out loud. Yes, great job. 52 rounds down to 50 because we can see it's below the midpoint, so it's closer to 50. This number over here, 45, is tricky. How did you round 45? Say your answer out loud. Which two tens did you use as our landmark numbers? That's right. 40 is our lesser multiple of 10 and 50 is our greater multiple of 10. What is exactly halfway between 40 and 50? Remember, five is half of 10. That's right, our midpoint is 45. Hmm. Team, I noticed that our midpoint is 45 and the number that we're rounding is 45. Hmm. How do we know where our number rounds to? Say your answer out loud. Yes, we can see from our visual anchor that if our number is at or above the midpoint, we round up. Since our number is 45 and it is the midpoint, we round up. So we can say that 45 rounds to 50. Team, are we done answering this question? Now that we've rounded these two numbers, did we answer the big question? Show me. Show me yes or no. No, we did not. This question says to round to the nearest 10 and then solve to determine if her answer of 70 is reasonable. What's 50 plus 50? Some of you might know in your head 
Or some of you might count up by tens. Let's try it. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So 50 plus 50 equals 100. Samantha got 70. Is her answer reasonable? Evaluate. That means show me yes or no. No, it is not. She got 70, and when we rounded, we got 100. 70 is way too low. Thanks for your help today, team. We can see that rounding can help us determine whether or not an actual answer that we calculated is reasonable or makes sense. This is a great way to quickly check our work. Before we move on to our workshop problems, how can we use a vertical number line today to help us round to the nearest 10? Go ahead and say your answers out loud. Yes, that's right. We can identify our landmark numbers by thinking, which two multiples of 10 does my number come in between? We can locate our midpoint by thinking, what number comes halfway between our landmark numbers? We can think, is our number located above or below the midpoint? And then, based on where our number is located, we can round up or down. Remember, if the number is at or above the midpoint, we round up. And if the number is below the midpoint, we round down. Keep these thinking questions in mind as you practice today. 